Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. Today's video, a little bit of a different one. I went to a takeaway, which I thought was amazing. The Perry chicken I had there was cheap, but it tasted really, really good. I thought to myself, that is a good value proposition if I ever saw one. However, I've only ever been there once and it was awesome. So I don't know if it was like a one hit wonder, whether they can replicate that, whether I just got them on a good day. So what we're gonna do today, hopefully, is show you an amazing, takeaway that's super cheap has great value food really good quality food but making our way there now I'm gonna get that Perry chicken because I remember it being oh it was really good I'll have a look at the menu if I've got anything else I think I should mention I will do but I really want to show off what I think is the best and cheapest Perry chicken in Manchester I hope So yeah, I've just arrived, uh, just parked up now. But what I didn't realize is there's a worldwide, I need some meat. So that's like a two for one. So even if I don't like the food, um, you've got some value out of this one, guys. Okay, that's not the exit. Where am I going? I think we're going back around here. So it is just uh, around here. It's called Genie. Let me show it to you. I did not know there was a worldwide here as well, but uh, here, here we go. Gee, let's go inside. That's what we're gonna get. Do you know what, guys? Still, whilst I'm here, I'm gonna try this mixed kebab with Donna and chicken. You can actually go with halloumi, which is pretty cool, but I'm gonna go uh, Donna and chicken, and then I'm also gonna try some hot wings as well. But uh, they've got a pretty big menu, to be fair. And there is a touch of seat, you can see it behind me and there's some on that side as well. There's a touch of seating inside. I'm gonna grab the food, I think I'm gonna eat it in the car. I think that's my chicken being cooked. Guys, so I have my food. I think it costs about 14 pounds, which I think is, is pretty good assuming it tastes nice. The chicken last time was amazing. And then I think I'm gonna to go to um, Worldwide behind me and get some halal meat as well. So two for one. Back in the car. As you can see, I'm pretty sure everything is made like super fresh, the chicken. Like, I like that I could see them actually prepare it. Uh, so it's like super fresh. Um, I'm gonna try and get everything out without being messy. Thought I'd come and sit here. I tend to not like to stand in review. I always like to sit, if I can, I always much prefer to sit and be comfortable. I can just quickly show you shots of the kebab. Um, if a camera woman could kindly just, just sort of come down here quickly. So we've got some doner meat. It's on a naan, and there's some chicken there as well, which actually looks, I have to say guys, that yeah, looks really good. This looks good to me. This looks really, really good. And then, if I can uh, package that up without being super messy, I can then show you guys the Perry chicken, which last time was so soft, charred perfectly. I absolutely loved this last time. I'm hoping it's just as good as that. And then, bonus item, bonus round, I thought we'd try the, oh, they look good actually. Sorry, Kevin, we can come down here again. These look good. Fried wings dipped in some sauce. Actually, missed the trick, I met a subscriber in there who ordered a spicy chicken burger. And then I was like, damn, they do spicy chicken burgers. I didn't know that. So next time, if this is good, I'm definitely gonna go back. But uh, yeah, let's start on the food. We've got to get a fork, but that's okay because I enjoy eating with my hands. So let's try the Donna meat first. You know, for the price that I paid, that is a massive portion. I think it's well made. It's not dry at all. Flavoured really well. Really tasty. And I like that they offer halloumi. Not many kebab shops offer that. But honestly, I'm here for the Perry chicken, so I'm going to blast past the kebab section. Moving on now to the chicken. Good amount of chicken in here. And it, honestly, it looks super fresh and tasty. Incredibly succulent, incredibly moist. This little kebab is a little bit of a hidden gem. Well priced and just delicious, man. You're not going to go wrong with this. If I could change one thing, I would say if the nard bread could be like freshly made, that might increase the cost a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind paying a bit more for good quality. But as far as kebabs go, for that kind of price point, I don't think you can complain. I think that is absolutely awesome. Now I'll be having this again, for sure. I would happily eat this again. I'm here really honestly for the peri. I just want to show this off and I'm going to munch it off when the camera turns off, but that is, is great. One thing to note as I put this away, that chili sauce that I just had, I already had a little bit, very spicy, honestly full of flavor, full of flavor. This place is just, that kebab has surprised me, I'll be honest guys, because 
I don't know. Maybe I've been conditioned to think that if something is quite well priced, super cheap, it's, it's necessarily not going to taste like amazing. But there are some great gems out there. There are some oh great, great gems out there, and I'm going to find them. Moving on now to this bad boy. So because I don't have a knife and fork, I'm going to wipe my hands first. But moving on to the Perry chicken, it's on a, a generous portion of rice. This was five fifty for half a chicken generous portion of chips you do get a choice of like salads and sauces i actually chose no salads no sauce i didn't want any of that i just want the chicken i want the flavor of the chicken and the chips sometimes i just want the meat to sing for itself especially if it's been marinated you guys saw earlier they're so cooking it fresh on the grill this looks so good it's hot <laughs> it's really hot guys that is a good piece of chicken let's see how easy oh gosh the bone, look at that bone just slid out of the actual chicken. Uh, that should give you an indication as to how soft it is. That's just getting it. That is getting a hey man. I think that is one of the best Perry chickens you're going to have anywhere in Manchester. Anywhere. Absolutely delicious. And for record, these guys didn't know I was a reviewer, didn't have my camera out, none of that kind of stuff. They didn't know what I was doing. I was a normal customer. I think they found out afterwards because I took a couple of pictures with some subscribers. I think at that point, once I'd already got my food, they'd realise. But this should just tell you the standard level of food here is delicious. This meat is succulent, it's soft. The flavour is oh, it's not too strong. It's a little bit subtle. I like that. Still a kick there. You can put their chili sauce on, which is phenomenal. This guy's man. And the actual, this chicken is massive. This chicken was not natty. It was not natty because this chicken is big. I employ to try this little takeaway. I'll put the details of it in the description. It's not exactly very well known. I certainly didn't know about it. I found it randomly driving past. Honestly, this is, this is, this is a, I've eaten so many pair of chickens. This has got to be one of the best, if not the best. Try this Perry chicken. Okay, so moving on to these wings. Are these not just, just beautiful? They look so good. They look so good. I think two pounds and 70 pence for five wings. I think that's 54p? 54? Is that? I don't know. <laughs> if there's any maths teachers in there or anyone that owns a calculator, let me know. But that is incredible. I think that's an incredibly good value. I think they look great as well. They're fried. They're dipped in their spicy sauce. So they do have a spicy chicken burger, which is a fried piece of chicken dipped in spicy sauce, put in a bun. I'm gonna try that next time because yeah, this is really good. I'm just on a hype here with the way this looks. This is colorful and vibrant. Honestly, unfortunately, the wings aren't at the level the other stuff is. The batter's just kind of falling off, so it's not crunchy. The sauce isn't incredibly sort of flavorful. It's very soft, but the sauce isn't very flavorful. The meat is tender. But there are a lot of much better wings. Even at that kind of similar price point, there are a lot of much better wings than that, I would say. So, guys, yeah, honestly, so impressed, so chuffed, really happy with these guys. I would 100% recommend you get the Perry chicken. Go get it. It's hey, man, get it. The kebab itself was really tasty as well. A massive portion, I think. Very well priced, but also... Putting the price aside, I think the actual taste of the meat, the taste of the chicken, the chili sauce particularly, I think that was all really, really good. So I would happily and highly recommend you try these guys, especially if you're in the area. The details will be in the description. So I just wanted to highlight what I thought was like a little bit of a hidden gem. I hope you've taken value from this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do consider giving me a like. That really helps the channel, helps YouTube show more people. And if you want to see more content of this nature, make sure to subscribe and turn all of your notifications on because then whenever I post something, your phone will go bing and you'll get a notification essentially. And then you can rush over to like the video before you even watch it. So thank you again so much for everyone for staying by right until the end. So if you want to see more content, there'll be something on the screen, click on that. But thank you so much for staying by right until the end, guys. I'll see you all in that next video. Ba 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 ba